Bro, it's still going. Okay, so I just broke it. I got that on camera. Ah! Probably shouldn't be scared, but I am. Can I use the air conditioning in these things? I gotta change the oil on my vehicle, so I'm gonna do the best to document that. Gotta stop looking at the viewfinder. So yeah, my dad is in here to assist me. So I've already broken a jack. Right now, I have a car jacked up and we're going to go underneath and start uh, start doing some stuff. All right. The first thing you wanna do is you gotta unscrew the oil pan plug, which is right there. Um, this is on a, a Subaru Legacy 2009. So you gotta unplug that and you wanna make sure that your oil pan is right there uh, to catch it. So yeah, we gotta drain the oil. Okay, so I just broke it. Not broke. <laughs> I made it looser with the nut driver. So now I'm going to unscrew it by hand. Okay, that should be good. There we go. Actually did run my car a little bit, so it might be, so it's a little warm, not like crazy hot, just a little bit warm. Okay, so we're now down to a drip. So I'm just gonna take the plug and just screw it back in. There's a little, there's a gasket on there. You can replace it if you want. I'm not going to this time. So you just, now that it's drained out, let's just screw it back in. All right, and I'll just tighten it up a little bit with a wrench. And since we're, since we're under here, I'm not 100% sure when this filter was changed. There's the oil filter. Um, it's pretty, pretty close to the front. That's the front, here's the exhaust. Oil filter's right there. Um, oil, uh, the exhaust is very cool to the touch, so by that. So either way, so we'll uns you should be able to unscrew this by hand, um, and if not, they make oil filter wrenches. Um, but I'm gonna, just gonna unscrew this by hand and uh, replace it. Oh, there's a the, the new one up there. Whoa, okay. I wasn't expecting oil to be dripping from the filter, which I guess doesn't really make sense. I'm gonna screw this back in and get the pan under here. Eight minutes, ah oh, geez, okay. Okay, so let's try this again. I'm gonna unscrew this. And I uh, got a glove on now and got the pan under there. Whoa! Okay, I have to clean off the camera now. <sighs> All right, with that oil filter off, got the new one right here. I'll tell you what it, what, you, what it is in a second. And I'm just gonna screw that guy right in. Make sure that it's threaded properly. There we go. Then I'll clean up the rest of this oil with just uh, some napkins to um, it'll burn off, but so that the oil smell isn't around forever. Okay, the filter that I got was a Fram Ultra Synthetic um, XG6607, as you can see right there. I got this at Walmart. There's a little computer there that tells you what filter to get, so that's what I got. And I got a gallon of synthetic oil right here. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna push that in and and call it a day. Okay, so the second thing I want to try doing is cleaning out my condensation drain, which is right there, that rubber hose. So I'm got, I got some wires down here. I got some wires, and I'm gonna to try to clean it out, and uh, kind of like a snake, like a snake action for a toilet. So let's see how that works. 
Okay, so the wire didn't work. I saw this guy oops, online and he just used some compressed air so I got my air compressor here and we're just going to give it a few blasts and see what happens. All right, well that didn't work. I used the air compressor, and as you saw it didn't work. So I think I'll just run it with the air conditioner on the next hot day and just see if I still get some wetness. There's some wetness that happens on the uh, carpet, on the carpet of the passenger seat. So we'll see if that still happens. Maybe there wasn't any water in there, in there now. Maybe it all evaporated and maybe I loosen something up with the air, so I don't know. So I'll take it off the jacks and I pour, I'll pour the oil back and uh, we'll, call it, we'll call it a day. So are we in focus? I think we're in focus. I bought this from the grocery store. They call it a horned melon. And I think it might, might have let it sit too long. But I've never had one before and I thought I'd try it. Okay, yeah, this is the process of cutting this guy open and trying to eat it. The inside is green. Can you see that? Oh, didn't expect that. Like the pomegranate. Now, yeah, they said you can either squeeze it out into a bowl, I mean, squeeze it out. Ugh! I got that on camera. Ah! Oh, that, is, that was gross. <laughs> um, the back kind of came apart as well. Okay, so that was gross. Um, another way is that they said you can, they can, you can pick out the seeds. I don't know how you grab these things. So they, you take a seed and then you run it through. You, you can't eat the seeds. I can't say there's a whole lot of taste going on. You can kind of like push this uh, one of these little slime balls in between like your tongue and the roof of your mouth and kind of squeeze the seed out. But there's not much taste. So I just had a little bit from this bowl, like an actual spoonful. And it is very, it does have a taste and it's very bitter. And it's not, it's not very good. That's what I'm going to say. It's bitter, but it's not like lemon bitter because lemon is kind of refreshing. It's more like poison bitter. <laughs> Maybe not poison bitter. I'm trying to think of, uh, it's not even like a Sour Patch Kid. I can't think of what kind of bitter it is, but it's not like, it's not like a lemon. It's not like a Sour Patch Kid. That's why I'm gonna I'm gonna warn you if you feel like maybe I should pick up a horned melon, don't do it. Save your money. Get a bag of potato chips. This but we're in a car wash! Gotta put this in park. I'm, I'm a little I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. Probably shouldn't be scared, but I am. Can I use the air conditioning in these things? It's hot. It's hot up in here, bro. Why am I why am I scared? Why am I scared? I shouldn't be scared. I'm freaking an adult. This shouldn't scare me! What the frick is going on? I don't know if I should use the air conditioning. It is very loud! Oh, oh, what's this? Oh, colors. Oh, pretty colors. Pretty. Oh, this smells good. I like this. They're coming for me! Mom, save me! I'm sorry! Jesus, I'm sorry! I didn't mean to press. I think we're okay. I think we're good. I thought I was dying. Woo. It smells like cotton candy a little bit. Probably shouldn't eat it, but I kind of want to put down the window and taste it. The door just opened. We're going to the car wash, car wash, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just feel like that song's appropriate right now. We're going to the car wash. Oh, what? Oh, uh oh. Are we? We're going into another dimension! We're going into another dimension! <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to drive. Here we go. I'm gonna go through the fans. Mom, Lord Jesus, help me, save me! Ah! Ooh, Jimmy! See, I wanna put down the window. Ah! Okay! 
Okay, that was scary. Real slow, trying to squeegee off of the water. There we go. Freaking sweet, bro. All right, that was, ooh. That was my first, no, wasn't my first. That was a car wash experience, not my first. I feel like I've been in a car wash before, just I haven't been there in years. And again, here we are in front of this window. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Had a really good time, fun time, putting that little uh, edit together of the wedding. Is there a video coming this week? Yes. So stay tuned for the video coming out this Saturday. And uh, yes, again, thank you guys for watching this. And I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday, for the next, for this, for... Ah! I'll see you guys next week, Wednesday, for next week's vlog, all right? Oh gosh, I got a piece of something in my eye. I was flirting with it too. I think it was like an eyelash or something because I saw it dangling and then I finally blinked and it just, it just went in. All right. <laughs>